Hey friends, Pastor Keith here, Touchpoint user. I want to highlight for you today email and really functionality and design of email. And I have to admit, uh, when we uh, thought about switching our email from Constant Contact, which we've used for over 20 years, I know that's a long time in email world, but but we have. And uh, it, maybe use MailChimp, something like that, a custom specialized uh, email uh, product. I thought, you know, it'll be great to get the uh, targeted uh, functionality that Touchpoint offers so I can send my women's a banquet email just to the women of the campus that's relevant rather than to everybody at that campus or uh, you know or a children's ministry event just to the parents of, uh, of that age group I thought that would be great to get targeted emails uh, but I'm probably gonna have to give up a lot when it comes to design and layout and maybe it's worth it um, also like the idea of getting rid of the monthly cost for constant contact but again thought I'd be sacrificing I had to tell you pleasantly surprised no sacrifice at all and actually I'd say better than uh, constant contact which is a big surprise uh, here's an email it's a simple one uh, of course you can make more complex and all that but this is a nice clean email it's a weekly kind of newsletter that we send out reminding people about weekend services at uh, this particular campus um, gives them a button to RSVP and actually it's something I want to highlight uh, in constant contact I could have had this exact same layout right it's a pretty simple straightforward layout same information could have had a button just like this that had a link that would go to a to a URL but what's different here is since it came from uh, touchpoint this email was sent to me now this link is a unique link for me that when I go to RSVP it's going to pick up the touchpoint RSVP screen event registration screen and it's already going to know who I am and uh, who's in my family and asking who I want to register and makes it really easy. Now, in this case, uh, our this campus uh, RSVP for their socially distanced services and uh, use the uh, touchpoint ticketing system. So I'm going to go to the eight o'clock service and uh, I'm going to choose uh, maybe uh, these two seats right here. And uh, if I were to scroll down and click submit, uh, that's all there is. It doesn't ask me who I am because it knows who I am. It automatically reserves those seats for me, sends me an email, and uh, and that's it. So pretty cool uh, if you were RSVPing just with, uh, without picking a seat to do the same thing, but it'd take you to a different registration screen. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, if I were to kind of go through, uh, let's see here, through this email, uh, I just want to highlight something. Uh, I'll just go through. We've got buttons here. We can um, more links and, and information on different events coming up. Um, so you know, pretty pretty easy. Long email. This again is a kind of a newsletter format, just a highlight of what's been happening in the church. But uh, here at the bottom, something you probably don't pay much attention to is the footer on the email, which I think is actually pretty important uh, if you have constant contact or. Uh, MailChimp or, or something like that. They're probably branding it as uh, with their brand down there. Here you see it's all the church, uh, Village Bible Church. The links are all ours and it's clean, simple, just the quick access to give, to download the app, to get to our social media pages or website, to unsubscribe if somebody wants to unsubscribe this email address. But anyways, it's clean and it's uh, I think really professional looking, which is, is pretty cool. So I never spent much time on an email footer before. But uh, look at them next time. Um, now, if I want to send an email, I'll just show you how easy it is to uh, lay out. I'm going to go in and send an email just to this person, which is me. Um, and it's going to pull up a set of templates that we've created. I'm just going to go with the basic template. And just to show you kind of ease of use, here's the template. But if I go in here, you're going to see a very similar uh, email HTML editor. I shouldn't say HTML because it's all visual. Um, but it's a, a visual layout uh, like you'd see in Constant Contact or MailChimp. Um, now, of course, I can add uh, something in columns. I can add a button. I can do all the things that uh, you're used to doing, text, image, uh, menu to drop down to other parts of the email and all of that. So um, really easy. You can change the, the layout, the blocks, the body, how things are colored and all of that stuff. Um, here you see this special link code, um, which uh, if I were to add a button with a special link, that would be that registration special link that would know who I am in the email. Or um, the other thing I can do if I want to, again, since this is coming from your database, uh, coming from Touchpoint, 
uh, the email, uh, the system knows who each person is. So I could say, uh, hi, and then we've got replacement codes. Uh, hi, Bob. Let's say that's if that was the first name, it would show up that way. Uh, put the bracket there. And up here, you've got a list of replacement codes, but that way you can customize so that the email goes out. It has the person's name in it if you want to do that. Um, so anyways, customization in that way, uh, we can look at the the open rates. So we have, I'm going to actually scroll down here on this one. We had 522 that were set, uh, 248 that were opened, uh, 274 that were not open. We could click on those and see the details under each. But uh, so uh, that's email. There's a lot of other functionality in here as well. But uh, I just thought you'd like to see that uh, emails can look uh, really good uh, sent from uh, within uh, touchpoint and have a lot of customization and uh, special linking ability that you wouldn't have elsewhere pretty powerful